Merry Christmas, everybody. So for Christmas, my girlfriend has got me a 3D uh, printing pen. And it's in such a nice packaging that I thought I would do an unboxing and uh, in front of you guys. And let's see if we can get it to work. First, we have more packaging. All right, we have a quick start guide. The tree doula pen itself. Some um, filament. These are all ABS. Here we have the power cable. And this tool here is to unclog, and we'll see if we need to use it later. A little wrench to take the nozzle off. If you, there's like accessory packs where you can get uh, more nozzles and stuff. And this is to pop the maintenance hatch off. And the, on the top here, the pan is off at the moment and it's got a low and a high temperature setting. So for low is for PLA and for ABS like these ones here, we're going to use high. So I'm going to go to high. And this light here should turn blue once the pan is uh, hot enough to melt the filament that goes through it. And it's probably going to take about two minutes according to the manual for it to heat up. So meanwhile, let's choose a color. All right, it's turned blue. So I think we just put it through this hole here. And then here there is two buttons, fast and slow. And that's just how fast it feeds the filament through. So let's go fast. But look, you can see it. You can see it through this uh, little panel here. Whoa! Alright, so clicking it stops it from coming out. That nozzle is really hot, you don't want to touch that. But I'm surprised that this bit here is quite hot as well. Let's try again. It's pretty cool. Alright, so um, I watched a tutorial on how to make a box. Let's try that. So what I'm actually trying to do is extrude the filament, go all the way to the top, pull it tight, stop extruding the filament, wait till it cools down and hardens, and then yank it away so that it remains straight. <laughs> no, just like all 3D prints, my first view is always a failure, but you learn from it. All right, so I just realized that yellow might not be the best choice of color. I think it's a bit difficult for you to see what's happening. So let's try switching colors. So the way to do it. Apparently, is um, the pan still needs to be hot. And uh, by the way, apparently, you never want to leave your filament in there when you're not using it because um, it starts jamming and stuff. So while it's still hot, you wanna uh, make sure all the filaments out before you turn it off. Anyways, so to remove the filament, we double click. Yep, and it's coming out. Cool. 
And if you can see here, I'll use my hand as a backdrop. Right there, it's a bit like melted and warped. So if I want to use this stick again, I would have to cut this bit off, make it nice and clean before fitting it back through. Um, there's still some in there, but I think when I feed the next one through, because it's still a hot pan, it would just purge the, the old material out. Yep, so you can see a bit of a mix of color right here. And it's switching. All right. All right, so let's stop trying to be so ambitious and print in air at the moment. Uh, there's another way to do a cube, which I'm going to show you now. Um, and that's by constructing different 2D planes and weld them together. So let's try that. By the way, you don't have to hold the button down. If you click once, it just keeps going. So it's actually a little bit like, whoa, 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 I need to stop now. So, yep. It's dry. You just peel off. This is just paper, by the way. So it looks like paper itself is good for it to stick. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to draw another square now and weld the sides onto that. So something like that. Looks like it's gonna be a bit wonky. So I don't know if you saw that, but when I drew the line here, I jumped over here because I, just, I forgot that I was 3D printing. I was just trying to draw the box and obviously it doesn't work that way. So that's like a, that's a, that's a new skill set you gotta learn, I guess, to, to realize that you have to keep drawing in a single line. Okay. It cools really fast too. It's, it's cool already. That's good. And that, there we have it. That's a 3D cube. I'm pretty proud of this. This is my first um, Properly done, no, not properly done, it's a bit wonky, but you know, I, I made a cube. So it's cool, it's really good if you're like trying to prototype a quick shape, I think. Um, I'm really excited about what this can bring to the architectural office. Well, if we think, if we look at this and imagine that this is a building, I guess I can start like dueling over the top of it and like try to make different shapes and stuff. So let's see how that, how well that goes. So you see now I've created some sort of um, facade design for my block building. So yeah, I mean, I can, I can see how I can like quickly do a shape. Uh, or what I've seen other people done is they, they 3D print their base model and then just add embellishments, add embellishments with the 3D printing pen. So thanks for watching this video everybody. Um, especially since it's Christmas. I just want to say, I really enjoy when you guys leave comments below um, and, we, and we have actual dialogue. It makes me feel like we are a community of designers or artists across the globe. So if you have a 3D printing pen or uh, you have advice or questions, please do leave comments and I will reply. Other than that, happy holidays and hope you have a great 2017.